Walmart shares tanking after the company cut its outlook and said higher prices for food and gasoline are leading customers to scale back on buying other items. Walmart says it's had to lower prices to move out excess inventory as well. And you can see that stock's off by about 8.5%. Joining us right now to talk more about it is Jan Niffen, J. Rogers Niffen, worldwide CEO and a CNBC contributor. And Jan, you've done this for a long time. What, what happened here? You know, I've been watching Walmart for over 50 years, and I don't think I've ever seen them raise the sales line and lower the earnings line at the same time. And what really happened here is exactly what Walmart told us. They said, a lot more people are coming to us to buy groceries. Our sales are getting better. We're gaining market share. But it's low-margin business. And while they're buying the groceries and the gasoline they're buying, they can't afford to buy the general merchandise. And Walmart's the largest general merchandise seller in the country. So just like Target, they had to take their numbers down. I was a little surprised they had to take them down again. I didn't realize how tough it was for that bottom 40% of the consumers. But that part of the consuming group is just basically saying, all I can really afford to buy from me right now is groceries and gas. So the apparel that they've been buying is sitting on the shelf. Apparel's still selling really well to the top 60% of the consumers. Macy's is doing well with, with apparel right now. So is Nordstrom, so is Dillard's, so is Capri, so is Tapestry. They're all doing well. That, that customer's buying and going out and doing experiences, and they can still afford it. The Walmart customer, a lot of them right now, can't still afford it. They're concentrating in food and gas. So as long as that's happening, Walmart's going to have to change its mix and going to have to reflect it in the earnings numbers. That's what's happening, and it just takes a while when you're the biggest player. I thought Jim was pretty tough on him a minute ago when he said, I thought they could do a better job at this. They will do a better job at this, but it takes a while to change that supply chain once it's all coming in the door. So, Jan, if this is the, the lower 40 percent in terms of where you come down in the economic scale, how much money you're bringing home, what does that tell us, uh, not just about the broader economy, but what does that tell us in terms of other retailers that you would be concerned about? Well, I think all across that scale, if you're a Kohl's, you've got to be thinking pretty hard about it. If you're Target, this is a problem. If you're the dollar stores, that's a problem. So that consumer is going to be taking more money to Walmart and buying groceries with it. They're also going to be taking more money to the gas station until that changes. So they're not going to spend as much going out. The other customers at the higher end can still go out, do things, and buy apparel. We're going to see that dichotomy until something happens. So far, that upper end consumer is fine. That's just a so far statement. The lower end so, consumers are getting hit really hard by inflation. Where, where, does, where would that put you in terms of this debate we keep having about whether a recession is coming, whether we're in run right now, or whether we can avoid that still at this point? If this is happening to the Walmart shopper, what does that tell us? And, and, and then, by the way, hurting a lot of these big retailers, hurting their margins, what does that tell us overall about where we stand in the economy? Well, a recession is always coming. The question is, how far out is the recession? Right now, unemployment is so low, and employment is so good, and wages are so good, that it doesn't look like it's going to be a recession. But that can change pretty fast. You know, consumers can change on a dime. Looking at it from where I stand right now, I say, okay, we're going to get two quarters of negative GDP growth, but it doesn't feel as much like a recession to most of the people in the economy right now. What it feels like right now to the bottom part of the economy is inflation is killing me. And to the upper part, they're going, yeah, my assets are falling off a little bit, but things yeah. are still pretty good as far as my right. income level. It doesn't yeah, we gotta... feel deflationary yet, does it? It doesn't feel it, recessionary. What it, doesn't. it feels like. Well, it, it, it depends. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.